Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a reading. This is a touch of tarot. I'm going to get right into it. You're strong. You're strong. Your energy came up strong here. The cards that came out, I didn't take from the bottom of the deck because we had two, um, is the bright mother. Okay, really interesting, right? And then we have Soleil, like the sun. So uh, this is telling me, um, from what I've read on these energies, the bright mother represents fertility, new beginnings, nurturing, intimacy, um, protection, creativity, and obviously the sun is like that beautiful energy and clarity, um, new beginnings as well, because it comes every day, right? It's like a repetitive opportunity to have a new chance, a fresh start. I feel like you're turning your past, your your back on the past, okay? Um, see, she's obviously her back is facing us. I feel like you're ready to manifest what you want or to let go of things that were angering you and to really get what you want. Okay, Leo. So let's see what's coming up for the situation. Thank you, Sandra, for the deck of cards, the two decks you sent. We'll be using one of them here for this reading. And if you'd like the extended, it is on Patreon with all the other extendeds for one price, $4.44 or higher if you feel like it. I'm going to pull out all the cards first uh, so we can really get this. That's really interesting what's coming up so far. I do have your energy here at the bottom of the deck. You may have been dealing with another fire sign or someone who is in some way, um, you know, your type of energy or your level of passion, okay? But I do feel with the Six of Swords being the first card, um, there was some unknown factors here or things that maybe were just very uncomfortable because this energy does not look good to me. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like you were watching someone and waiting for them to make an effort, but they were holding back. I feel like this person would sometimes open up to you and then close off to you, locking the key, maybe disappearing at times. Um, and you were just there ready to nurture and build with this person, Leo. I do also feel that you had to watch this person go and do what they had to do. Or I don't know if they had to do it, but you had to kind of watch this person step away or come in and out. And I feel like it was very heartbreaking, but you stayed very strong for this. Um, and I also feel like you were kind of not speaking up. You were just protecting yourself or just being energy of love. You and this person have a commonality, <clears throat> which is that there is love for each other. However, this person, like I said, was holding off, okay? I also feel like this person may have come in and out of your life. Um, and maybe it was just a little too much for you. Maybe you're just like, I can't do this. And the interesting thing is in the page of wands, there's four wands. So this may be your twin with that type of runner chaser energy. I see though, I don't see you chasing. Um, I feel like you were sitting there like, what the heck is going on? How long is this going to go on for? And so I feel like you released this and chose to focus on yourself, to work on yourself. Um, and that's that really what I'm getting here, right? So let's see what else. I need to see what this card is sticking out. There's one card and I don't know what it is, but I feel it's going to be relevant. Justice. So you may have felt like this person had some sort of ties they had to deal with. And I do kind of just feel like with this energy, you were just watching and, and waiting and seeing what's going to happen. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting from that beautiful queen energy. But there's a sadness to her, right? So let's clarify and then we will get it. We'll move forward. Okay, give me a second. Oh, wow, this is getting deeper and deeper. Hmm. Sorry, I don't mean to hmm, but it's like hmm. It's not bad though, Leo. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of reiterating, but yeah, you were waiting for this person to speak up, to be honest. Um, you may have known that this person was in a marriage, an unhappy one, by the way. So this may have saddened you to have to watch them, not to have to watch them, but to watch them stay in a situation uh, that was not happy. Now, I also feel that this person made you unhappy watching it. It's like they carried on their energy towards you, Leo, which is probably why you took your power back um, and turned your back on this situation. I also feel like this person continued to go back and forth between you and someone else, which is really sad. Um, it was very sexual as well, I see. Like I do see this person... I want to say misuse their power. I don't know. Maybe take adva took advantage of the connection you had with them or took advantage of their power. I do feel like this person came in and would leave and go back to the other situation. This leaving you heartbroken. Um, this person was totally, you know, indecisive about what they wanted because, well, I mean, I'm not sure exactly if it was about power and control or just that they were first into their their sexual domination is what I'm getting. That's the word that just came to me. Um, it was heartbreaking for you and maybe for others as well, maybe for the other situation and maybe for them as well. And so, like I said, you decided to focus on yourself and give yourself love, which is, you know, the best thing you can do. The five of pentacles came in reverse. Often when it's in the upright, um, I talk about communication with that card, but it's about feeling like abandonment or leaving a home or something like this. And I feel like this person would continually go back to a broken home and then come to you and offer you something shiny, but then not open up to you as well. Because I see the key around this person's neck. So maybe not telling you, hey, I have another situation or even explaining to you what's going on. The only king energy we have here is the king of wands and it's underneath the page of wands. Oh no, we have the king of swords as well underneath the six of swords. Um, but I do feel that this person was misusing their power, coming in, having fun, doing what they felt and then leaving, leaving you heartbroken. Okay. And with this king of swords, I do feel like this person often wore their mask, um, you know, going through whatever transition they had to go through. This person, there was some dishonesty here. And the other thing I'm getting is maybe, maybe there wasn't dishonesty. Maybe this person was, was pretty, um, like what you got, what you saw was what you got. So maybe the dishonesty came with you uh, not wanting to see something or waiting too long, like you lying to yourself in a sense, no, no offense, you know, um, but I do feel that there is a possibility that you kind of got what you saw with this person, even though you were waiting for them to maybe leave a situation or be honest with you or something like that. I see a lot of love. Like I said, you were very loyal to this person, um, but this person hurt you in one way or another. Okay. Unfortunately, the, turning your back and just focusing on the sun energy is the best thing you can do. I'll clarify more in the extended for sure, but let's just get a couple cards to see what's coming up here. The photograph, looking at your photos, missing you and memories. So this person may be very aware. I'm seeing the twin flame and the love card stick out here. Oh gosh. So I feel like this person is still thinking of you or was still thinking of you, even though they were behaving the way that they were behaving. Um, I feel like this person misses you and I feel like this person knows that there's a very strong connection here. However, there's also this, this negative energy around whether it's an addiction or heartbreak or fear of being addicted to, to love and getting heartbreak, um, which could be why this person acted the way they did. Okay. So let's get another message before I depart and go to the extended. So this is definitely someone from your past. And 
I mean, there's loving memories is what's come up. It's six of cups energy, and I am seeing the love begins here. Um, I feel like you had a very strong connection with this person, but you intuitively knew you had to let it go. You couldn't continue to hang on to it because here where there's two people hanging on to the cup, so it's like an equal effort in what was actually happening. It's just one person hanging on that can even represent that one person had control of the situation. So I do feel that, that you took and made the best choice you could. Um, to be honest, you're not very, besides the fact that you walked away, the rest of the cards are kind of talking about how this person let you down, you know? Um, so that's interesting, okay? I'm going to move on to the extended. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Bye for now, Leos.